We are going to understand about uh, a mercury column which is a, a kind of a barometer uh, used to measure the atmospheric pressure. Uh, we will derive the formula of the pressure and uh, principle of its working. So essentially a mercury column is a very simple device. It has a long glass tube. On the top side is vacuum. There is no air in it. It can possibly be uh, invented by first filling it or filling it all the way to the up and then allowing the mercury to fall down create a vacuum here. There is no air, no air particle at all inside this and all the mercury that is here is uh, essentially pours down and then finally it collects into a some kind of a uh, some kind of a of a beaker or any kind of a, um, a container in which the mercury spreads out but once you all the mercury pours down you notice that there is a long column of the mercury like this why it happens this the reason for this is that there is an atmospheric pressure that is working on this mercury in this direction and then this atmospheric pressure is trying to push the mercury all the way to the up and ordinarily if there if you cut this uh, glass for example the atmospheric pressure from here and the atmospheric pressure from here they will balance it out and the mercury would fall down just because there is no atmospheric pressure here and there is an atmospheric pressure from here the mercury column rises and then the pressure is given by P is equal to force divided by area. Now what is happening? There is a force on this mercury column. Uh, it is acting like this. This pressure is F upon A. And this atmospheric pressure which is pushing is upside is balanced by the weight of the mercury column between this height and this height. But this force will be given by F is equal to the gravitational force mg divided by a. Now this pressure m, the mass m, we can write it as rho into volume where rho is the density of the mercury and multiplied by g divided by this area. Now this volume v can be written as this height of the mercury column multiplied by this area e. So it becomes rho into height h multiplied by area into g divided by area a. a, a cancels and such becomes big brings the pressure is equal to rho h upon g. This is the formula for the mercury column. Now if the pressure is high the height is higher. If the pressure of the atmosphere is low the height is low. For example, if you go to Colorado in United States, the height, because it's on a very high sea level, you will notice that take the same thermo barometer to, the, to a higher height place, its pressure will go down here. So that is one thing. In the normal condition at sea level, this height is approximately 760 mm or 76 centimeter. But if you take to a higher height, it can drop to as low as 65 centimeter or something like that. There are few things you need to understand. Why, why only mercury? Why not we choose something like just a simple water? Well, you can use water, but the problem with the water is that this. For the same given pressure, pressure is constant, let's say, and you have to choose two different materials. To keep the height low, you need to keep rho very high. And mercury has a relative density of 13.6, which means its density is 13.6 times the density of density of water. So if you use water, the water will have a height of 76 centimeter multiplied by 13 times. Obviously it's impractical to have such a high uh, height of the uh, pressure column and therefore mercury is a good choice. It also has to be liquid so that it can flow. So these are the properties that makes this mercury very suitable for a pressure column. Other thing is that this height of this mercury historically become, became so widespread use that the, 
the pressure of the atmosphere or pressure of anything was started being told in terms of the height of the mercury column with 760 mm big being the height of the atmospheric pressure you can convert the mercury height into a newton per meter square using this formula p for example for atmospheric pressure we have height is 760 mm we can convert it to 0.760 meter and the rho is 13.6 times the density of water which is 10 to the power 3 multiplies is rho this is h and this is gravity between acceleration due to gravity is 9.6 and if you multiply whole thing you will get something like 1.03 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per meter square and that is our atmospheric pressure so we say 760 mm of mercury column pressure or we say 1.023 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square these two are pretty much interchangeable thing you can also change this pressure into uh, other units now uh, for example cgs you need by converting into two centimeter and other th these things the mercury column was invented by a scientist called Tori Solsali and 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 that's why the, the this this height of 760 mm this unit is also called one tor if we say that one tor atmospheric pressure it also means 760 mm of mercury column or it is also equal to 1.03 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per meter square so these are some of the facts of the mercury column the derivation of the formula that you can use for your in other things as well